A maths concept I find a lot of people struggle with is ratios. Today I'm going to show you with a simple approach and a bit of knowledge about fractions, you will be able to solve these ratio questions with ease. Make sure you like the video, give me any feedback in the comments and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, so before we can solve any ratio problems, we, I think it's good to get a bit of a handle on what they would look like. So all of these questions that I've written are kind of ways that you might see ratios and how, how they're going to present themselves in the GAMSAT. So things like for every, to every, how much greater, things like that are kind of implying that you might need to use a ratio. And when we have a ratio, we end up getting a colon thing like this, and we have two numbers either side. So this colon is how we actually compare one number to the other. Now, they actually usually become quite easy because whatever's on the left of this orange statement actually is the number that ends up on the left of the colon, and whatever's on the right-hand side becomes what's on the right-hand side of the colon. So it's quite easy based on the question to set out what goes where. Now, if we have nice easy numbers like two to one in here, that's, that's obviously quite easy, but in the GAMSAT, it's not usually like this. They're often using fractions or but even both numbers being fractions. And the reason for that is it instantly becomes much, much harder. So if I just go over here and I say, what's the ratio of one half to one quarter, it's quite difficult and it's very easy to kind of fall into a trap and think that maybe this is double or uh, this is this is double or that's a half or who knows. It's, it's really easy with ratios when you're saying for every half I get a quarter. What does that mean? It's, it's really easy to overthink and that's why they put these questions in there to see how you can think through it. Now, my process for going through ratio questions is just make whatever's on the left the numerator, whatever's on the right the denominator in a fraction, a denominator, and whatever whole number this comes out to, that will be your answer of A, or the thing on the left, in comparison to B. So let's give this a little example. Now, so we would have 1 over 2 over 1 over 4. So you can see how it gets a little bit challenging when we have fractions. So you need to know how to, really, your, your main task is knowing how to divide fractions. So how I do this is I write them out like this. So I use the old school divide sign and I have 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 4. Now there's this rule in maths called the reciprocal law. So what that means is we can change a multiply, sorry, we can change a divide sign to a multiply if we flip the fraction on the right. Now it has to be the one on the right, it can't be the one on the left, and that's why you need to write it out in this order with that divide sign, because the, the order is important. So what that would look like is 1 over 2 times, because we've flipped the sign from divide to multiply, 4 over 1. So I've flipped that fraction on its head. So I've put the denominator as the numerator and vice versa. Now when we're multiplying fractions, all you need to do is just multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So this just becomes 4 over 2, which then just equals 2. So 1 half is double one quarter, okay? So any time you get a question like that in the GAMSAT, the key is just to identify what goes on the left, what goes on the right, and then just divide the two numbers. And whatever whole number comes out, so it needs to be a whole number, that tells you how much greater or less than. So if this came out as 0 0.5 or something like that, then it's half of B. Okay, so whatever number comes out at the end, that's what is going to give you your answer. Okay, so here's a practice question from ASA Practice Test 1, question 106. And I think it's, it's quite a good example of how you might see a ratio question presenting in the GAMSAT. So if you want to have a go at that, 
have a go, but I'm going to work through this here. So I've simplified a few things, but I did just want to point out that it's very often that they use things like a capital, uh, a capital of the same letter to represent different things. So in this question, this is actually density and this is the rate of diffusion. So it's very common that they use these to try and confuse you. So if you see that, have your alarm bells ringing and just try to be very, very clear about which variables represent which thing. Now I've just written out the diffusion, sorry, the densities of these variables over here. And the question is asking the rate of diffusion of neon is about blah, blah, blah of Krypton. So if we go back, that is our colon. This is to the left and this is to the right. Okay, so exactly the same really as how I wrote it before. So that's how I want you to start thinking about these statements is that you can represent them like this. So there's our colon, now we need neon. We need neon over here and krypton over here. So if we use that formula, neon will just equal, uh, so neon will be one over square root of one, so that just equals one. And krypton will be one over the square root of four, which equals one over two, okay? Now we would just divide these, so I just make the thing on the left the, the numerator, so I'll just scroll down a little bit. I might actually just rub that one out. So the thing on the left becomes the numerator, the thing on the right becomes the denominator. I'll rub that out as well, actually. So that's how we, we kind of sort out our fraction. Then we write it like this, because that's the form that we want. Then we can apply our reciprocal law. So that equals, I'm gonna stop doing the color coding because you can see what's what. One over, one times two over one, which then just equals two over one, which equals two, okay? So the rate of diffusion of neon is about twice of Krypton, okay? So that's how we can work through that quite easily. Just work out what goes on the left, what goes on the right, and then put them into a fraction and divide it into one single number. And that will be your answer to what the relationship is between those two variables. So I hope that was helpful. Really ratios are just about being able to operate comfortably in fractions. So if you can do that, just keep practicing that reciprocal law. And I promise you those ratio questions will become easy in no time. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.